Hello, this is Chris Menard. I know I haven't made a training video in a couple weeks, so here we go. I'm going to show you four reasons to use named ranges in Excel. And a lot of people never understand why to use a name range, so after this short video, you'll understand. Here's the first one. You can follow along with me, so start Excel. And at the bottom, go ahead and put in as many worksheets as you want. If you have at least four or five, you're good. Click on any worksheet. I don't care which worksheet you click on. And just scroll down and click anywhere you want. Type in 50, press enter. Type in 70, press enter. Alt equal, enter. And assume that that number right there, you're always referencing or you always need to go look at. And instead of five or six sheets, you have hundreds of worksheets. So make sure you're on that answer. This is your name box, click it. And I'm gonna name it grand total. You cannot have spaces in a name, so you'll get that message, I did that intentionally. But you can do underscores if you want to. So here's the first reason to name a range. I'm now gonna click another worksheet and I need to get to that grand total, not just to the worksheet, but to the range. Click it, click grand total, and there you are. I'll do it one more time. Click another sheet, click grand total. So the first reason is to create a bookmark. That's what I call that one. Here's another one. Click another blank worksheet. You can still follow along. We have state. I don't care what states you type, or you can actually leave it blank. That works. I got five states listed. Revenue. Keep this real simple. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm in cell B8, equal symbol, sum, tab. I want to sum up B2 to B6. Easy to do. But watch this. Highlight these. Click your name box, and I could name it Revenue, but I'm going to just do REV. Now, if I want to know the sum, equals sum, REV. Your named ranges will show up in your formulas. One more, average, REV. The highest is the max function. And the second highest, and I'll be done with this one. The second highest, by the way, is the large function. REV, comma, two, because I'm looking for the second highest. Third highest would be comma, three. So there you go. The third reason, I'm going to click another blank sheet. And we have tires, hats. I know I typed hats. It's okay. Shoes gloves, and that works. January, Feb, and March. You can still follow along on this. So just pause it and catch up with me. Right now, I don't care about the numbers, so I'm going to select B2 to cell D5. I'm going to do the number 3, Control, Enter on the keyboard. It'll put the same number in every one. So select 3, Control, Enter. And then I'm going to just change a couple numbers. I don't care which numbers you change. Here we go again. I'm going to highlight this range right here. And notice I picked up the three months. I'm going to go to the formulas tab at the top. We have a group called defined names. Click create from selection. And it picked up from that selected range that the top row contains text. Click OK. Click one time anywhere, hit your drop down and look. January, March, it's working. And then I'm going to come here and do total. Just highlight them. Alt equal for auto sum. Now let me show you another trick I know. So actually this is going to be end up being, uh, instead of four, being five. I got 13, 14, and 15, which are correct. 
But what I really want it to say here is the sum of January, Feb, and March. So I'm going to highlight those three formulas, hit the arrow for define names, and this is when you click apply names. Feb, Jan, March, make sure they're selected. Click OK, and it's going to do a quick refresh. Watch. January, Feb, March. I'm going to do this one more time. Total. Alt equal. Don't pick up the totals, but get those. Create from selection. Now it says left column, because that's where the text is. Click OK. Highlight those totals. Apply names. Perfect. Click OK. Tires, hat, shoes, gloves. And then if you do on the keyboard, the control key with the grave accent symbol, Look how nice this is if somebody actually wants to display your formulas and see what the sums are. It beats referencing ranges. So there you go. Control, grave symbol. And finally, so now this is actually the fifth one. This one you can't follow me along with because it's just too complicated. I do this during my instructor-led training, but I'm trying to keep this video short and it's already getting a little long. Act like I have names in column A, last names in column B. I'm going to highlight this range, and I only want to put in the counties. And I have a worksheet down here called Data Validation. And I'm keeping this simple. On my counties, I only have three counties. Gwinnett, Fulton, Clayton. I just made those up. They're real counties, though. So highlight this. Data tab data validation as soon as I find it we'll do a data validation there it is it says you can type in any value make it a list cancel my bad gotta go name this county which I did gotta go name that Gwinnett which I did highlighted those I named it Fulton highlighted those I named it Clayton I just want to show you how it got here. So now highlight, data validation, make it a list, and that is going to equal county. So now when I click here, I have a YouTube video on how to, I created this. So there you go. But here's what's nice. This is where it gets, real tr gets a little tricky. If I have Gwinnett County and then want to fill in a city, I only want to fill in the cities for Gwinnett County. I don't want to see all the cities. So I put in the three cities over here, and then I ran them across the top here in that range. So there's my counties, and there are my counties. Then I had to put in the cities for Gwinnett, the cities for Fulton, and the cities for Clayton. I'm going to highlight this range. And once again, when I do instructor-led training, I cover this list it is going to be equal symbol I'm going to use the indirect Excel function I'm going to reference cell C2 and you need to make it relative reference dollar sign C2 click OK I only get the four cities that I put in for Gwinnett there are my cities for Fulton there are my cities for Clayton. So it is working. So there are five reasons to use named ranges in Microsoft Excel. And if you need Microsoft instructor-led training, please send me a message. And also my Excel Level 2 class is now online if you're not in the Metro Atlanta area. Thank you for your time, and I'm going to have one more video that I'm going to post today. So make sure you go and look for it.